Hello students, welcome to plus one political science class. Today I will continue with lesson two fundamental concepts. The objectives of today's class are state and society, difference between state and society, state and association. Before the dis uh, discussion of these topics, I would like to talk about the key terms. The first term is organization, means group of people with a particular purpose. Institution, an organization founded for a religious, educational or social purpose. Community, a group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristic in common. Association, a group of people organized for a joint purpose. Diversity, the state of being different. Now, I will talk about the topic of the day that is state and society. Students, you remember last time I talked about the topic that is state. I have discussed with you there are four elements of the state that is population, territory, government and sovereignty. Now, today I will talk about the term society. This word is not new for you. No doubt we have been using it in a routine but today I will talk about it in politics point of view moreover I guided also last time that you must give course of political thinkers that your answers become more valuable in political science two political thinkers are very famous they are Plato and Aristotle now I will start my topic that is state and society. In ancient times, no difference used to be made between the state and society. Ancient Greek philosophers like Plato and Aristotle never made any distinction between them. But 17th century onward, thinkers recognized that they both are different. For this, you need to understand what is society as it is taken in the subject political science. Students, you remember last time I discussed with you when a child is born, he is born in the family and the name is given to him. Then family is a part of society. You and moreover you all live in a house and house has some surroundings like there is a building, Gurudwara or some shops, or there can be any mall. This is your society and so society is often defined as a sum total of social relations among the people. A society is a human organization whose members live together and cooperate with each other for the fulfillment of their common objectives. It's very important saying man is a social animal. But is it applicable nowadays? Tell me, are you meeting your friends, relatives, uncle, aunts or anyone? You may be thinking no, but I'll tell you, you it's true. We are still social. We are using technology. We are using the social apps like uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, etc, etc. So we can talk to anyone anytime. This is what I am trying to tell you the value of society. By sitting at home, we are social. It's not necessary that we go to coffee shop or prove that we are social. Society is a part of our life. It's not sure that in society all are similar or like each other. Each society has its own culture that is set of traditions, habits, understandings, beliefs and values. The state came into existence after the birth of society. So there are some differences between state and society. Now I will discuss those differences. The first difference is societies prior to state. Now let me make you clear 
with an example that when early man came on the earth he was alone and later he started moving in groups it gave birth to the society and then he was afraid of wild animals the strongest of them became the leader this gave birth to the idea of government and later on it developed into today's present government that is parliamentary democracy so this all from early man to present government system comes to idea that society came first and state came later second point is society is wider in scope than state society is formed by all types of relationships like economic cultural and religious in your locality you have shopkeeper theater artist or gurudwara then you have all these economic cultural and religious relationships but in state there is only political relationship that is there are only mlas mps councillors uh, the people in power so this is the relationship in the state that is political relationship is it clear so my next point is the state has an agency that is the government is the agency of the state and society has no agency student this point i have already discussed in detail with you that government is agency of state i told you that all mlas and mps are working on behalf of the government if anything is done by india the name is of india and the work is done by mlas mps hope you remember this point now let me clear you all that society has no such single agency society is maintained through a network of its own customs and traditions and code of conduct we are living in amritsar fine it's a very small city as compared to metro cities obviously there is a big difference in the customs and traditions of society also if anything is right in mumbai it can be wrong in amritsar for example coming late evening late evening to home alone of young girls in small city like amritsar it's not accepted by family and society but in metro cities like mumbai it's acceptable there is a broad outlook because they know they are to cover long distance to reach home so they, this is a difference in the outlook of society there the society has a broad outlook is the point clear now the next is society has its own regulating system it doesn't have written laws but state has the written laws if anyone violates the state laws the state takes action through police but you know that uh, if anyone disobeys the society customs and tradition what the society takes action what is action taken by the society the society boycotts such person society never welcomes such person in the social gatherings so this is what society does society can't punish that person through police action this is a difference next is sovereignty sovereignty belongs to the state now you remember i have already discussed this point also while talking about the state that uh, no group can claim sovereignty against the state it's a state that exercises supreme power over all the members and institutions of the society society has its own limits it's a just system of social relations and the state is law and order maintaining institution of society you know in all organizations may be regional zonal or international like nam sac or uno it's india 
and which is represented india is member not any group of india or any company of india which is member it's india is member i hope you are clear about it that sovereignty belongs to the state not to the society next is a territory territory belongs to the state not to the society definite territory is an integral element of the state society has no territory in geography class 10th you have done total area of india in some square kilometers but have you done society's area any religious society or cultural society or any educational society's area no it can't be done but here i would like to tell you that a person can belong to a one state only suppose any one of your cousin goes to canada and he belongs to that he takes the pr of that state it means that state accepts him he becomes a part of that state but such non resident indian who have got the citizenship of other state continues to be member of indian society also isn't it interesting how you tell me how a person who is a resident of other country is a part of indian society okay i'll tell you while your cousin is in canada but you go to some shopkeeper in your society and purchase some gift for him and this is how the shopkeeper is connected with your cousin and when your cousin comes to amritsar to meet you all you family members then amritsar society welcomes him wholeheartedly this is how nris are connected with amritsar society is the point clear to you a person who is the uh, citizen of other country is a member of the society of india also so i hope the point society is clear to you all now i will talk about the association the association is a group of individuals who are organized to achieve a particular objective now i will talk about its point it's connected only with the promotion of the particular purpose in class 10th you have done about east india association you remember dada bhai narao ji established east india association he went london and established it this was established to bring into notice of the british government the economic problems of indians so it has particular purpose the second point of association is it is voluntary organization its membership is also voluntary no one can be forced to become the member of an association like suppose there is any uh, labor association now it's my choice to join it or not no one can force me a person can join as many associations as he want there is no restriction he is a citizen of state one state but he can join a number of associations like there is a person he can join any a number of associations like he goes to office he goes to temple he joins parties he travels by train he goes to park he attends some meetings so he can join any number of associations there is no limit but state is one associations can be many next is the status of state is national but the status of association can be local regional national or international local like it can be gurudwara regional can be labor union national can be educational board or international can be red cross society or united nation organization so association can be of any level and the last point is sovereignty state is sovereign and all association 
work under the sovereignty of the state any number of association they all work under the sovereignty of the state so my points are clear i hope you have understood today's topic you will again watch this video and do the concerned snap homework revise the topic till then goodbye thank you